Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist from Kiloview. In this video, I want to talk about NDI and our Multiview Pro software. I want to show you how this software is perfect for small production, basic NDI routing, and how to control PTZ cameras and every NDI feed in your production. But first of all, what is NDI? NDI is the most acclaimed and used protocol to transfer audio and video over IP. It has two main flavors, Full NDI and NDI HX. The Full NDI flavor has high quality, low latency and high bandwidth. The NDI HX version though is compressed with H.264 or HEVC codec. It maintains a really good latency performance with almost no artifacts in the video quality. The latest NDI HX3 version had even shortened the boundaries with a full NDI version reducing even more the latency and with almost no artifacts in the video quality. So, no further hesitation, let's go in the web UI of our Multiview Pro and see how the software performs. Let's go! Now let's open the Multiview Pro application. So copy the link here and paste it into your browser. Insert your username and password, select read and agree and go login. Now we can build our panel production. Select New Build Production, select our resolution, in this case I'm going to use NATP 50, and give it a name. The Multiview Pro can use multiple frame rate and resolution from 720p up to 4K 60. Now select Start Production, and let's create our layout. I'm gonna use the template. You see there's many you can choose from and give it a name. Press OK. Now, to populate the interface, just drag and drop from the right menu with your NDI and NDIHX feeds. We are gonna select our PTZ camera. We are gonna select our N60. We are gonna take the other camera which I'm using for shooting and some of my vMix outputs. As you can see in the interface, we can just pull our sources into the preview row and then into the program one. So I select my PTZ camera, for example, put it into the preview row, and then take my camera from the N60 and put it in the program row. What you have seen here is actually a WebRTC preview. Actually, the NDI Multiview Pro as a standard latency of 16 milliseconds. So I'll now put this interface onto the screen on my side. In order to achieve this, just select on the top of the menu and go live. This will create an NDI feed of our Multiview Pro. Let's go in the D350, select the Discovery tab, and let's select the output of the Multiview Pro. Press Add and Close. Now simply drag and drop and we will be able to see the feed on the screen. As you can see here on the screen, I just put the Multiview Pro interface. I can do the same with the program and the preview too. In order to do that, simply go on the preview, for example, and select Live. Come back on the D350 on the Discovery tab, select the Preview, for example, and press Add. Now simply drag and drop again, and you will see we have the Preview on the monitor. Simply operation can be done just with drag and drop. If I want to, for example, go with a Preview on the program, I simply drag and drop on the program output, and you can see I'm switching in between those. Of course, every input have some setting, like the PTZ control, the name, the view meter, the safe area, and the central cross. For example, I can use my PTZ controller to control my PTZ camera, of course, but I can also use the controls on the surface here in the web UI. So just select PTZ control, and from here, just select with the buttons and move our PTZ camera. We can, of course, zoom in and zoom out, and basically also create some presets. For example, right here. 
I just select the first one, I come back to here, move it a little bit, and then select save on a preset 2. If I want to come back, just select the first one and go to. And here are you control everything from the interface. Whatever you want, Whatever you also want to control the audio, you can do from the web UI. For example, here on my fourth output, you can see the modulation on the view meter, which is my audio coming through the output one of vMix. I can just select this, put it in the preview, and wherever I switch to the program, also the audio will follow through with the audio follow video enable. You can also audio fix if you want to, to just have one source act as a master audio. You can enable view meter on the program row, just simply select this on the top and also have some show name for the cameras and also the output row. The MultiView Pro has also physical output using your GPU, auxiliary output, HDMI or DisplayPort. In order to achieve this, just simply select on the web UI the screen tab. In this example, I'm gonna select the screen of my front monitor on the downside, we have the multi-view of our multi-view pro section. I hope you like this video. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com and for any technical support, send us an email to support at kiloview.com. Stay tuned for more videos to come, subscribe to our channels and see you in the next one.